I opened up uh, I opened up itch earlier on and I was like yo what kind of games do I have and I looked and I'm like I got I had like the zero Ranger I have um, further down I have all the Xeno games Xeno Dine and Xeno Hell right I've got all these of course all these lovely fighting games as well and then yeah Micro Mages this is another one like I said I had all of these modern retro retro modern whatever you want to call them and so this here by Morph Cat Games was developed for like the NES proper. You can get it on an NES cartridge. You can also get it for PC or as just a ROM. Yeah, I got all these like modern retro games now that I'm gonna have to check out. It's also four players. We got the multi-tap. So yes, uh, up to four players, which I find fairly interesting. So I have no idea what we're, yo, they are micro mages, aren't they? Yo, we got wall jumps. Okay, yeah, and it's like an auto scroller. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, hello. Checkpoint. Oh, did my attack get longer too? Oh yeah, the um, one of the gems might have increased my attack power or my range. It's kind of cool. So like it, the the scroll speeds up like gradually as you just. like as you as you move right so if you just like decide to go ham and go all the way it'll it'll catch up to you which is actually really cool <laughs> oh no micro skeletons yo this is super when they said micro mages i didn't i didn't know they meant like micro mages <gasps> Trampolines. Yo, this could be chaotic with four people. Oh, hello, fairy. I don't know what that does. Oh, I was going to say, can I screen wrap? Okay, these guys take multiple hits. Ooh! Okay, and that's life. So maybe the fairy is what gave me that little... Yeah, time to boot up that Parsec server, exactly. responsible in dealing with these guys. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, cool. It's just like a little hover. Oh. Oh, and it also acts as health. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, let's just, let's end that level. Okay, okay. Getting a little trickier with the platforming, I see.
I like that... I wonder if the fairy and the, the feather will stack as health. You know what? Let me just go for that. Oh, seriously? Tell me you just... Thank you. Disappear. Oh man, I love the little floats. Boss? Boss time, let's do it. Ooh. Okay, well, there goes... Yeah, okay, it does act as two bits of health. So what do we think? Three cycles of that? Oh, oh, curses. That was a bad jump. I should have just waited it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, micro mages and macro ghost. It's true. Oh, hello, orb. Orb. Okay. And I like that, that this, like, it tells you what the thing is. It, like, because it locks you into that. So it shows you what his, like, um, uh, what the boss's reset is. Oh. So it shows you, yeah, just get stuck under one of those things. Gonna smashy smashy. Whoa, no, Mike, come on. Okay, be smart this time. Thank you. Oh, that was close. There we go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you're right. You can be more aggressive and then go up with the air when he pulls you up to get more hits in that way. But you just got to make sure you get on the other side. Otherwise, you're basically guaranteed to get hit. Are we actually... Can we climb these? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about the ropes, though. I got to be honest. Oh, can I not... Okay, good. They don't let me crawl off of it left and right. So I can hold all the way left and then do my jump. Okay. That's not as... That's not as... Ooh, scary as I thought it would be. Hello. Give me the fairy. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, and it's just high enough to reach the ledge, so I have to jump up. I gotta stop missing, though. Yo, this could be like, you could get some really great movement flow on this, where you just get flung up high enough to do a jump off of the one of the ledges, which lets you, yeah, grab onto one of the ropes like that. No? Oh, hello. 
Oh, one of these does it then. Is it the bottom one? Oh, curses. Can I just... No, it doesn't let me jump up. And it's not that. That one sends me there. Just let me freaking see. It's funny. They really don't want you to fall off the edge unintentionally. So like, it's actually hard to just like nudge off the edge and then drop down. This game definitely feels speed runnable. A hundred percent. Not the gout. Right, and I forgot, you can do upshots. Come on, get back in time for that little diamond. Okay, and they hop when you shoot. So the green little mushroom dudes will basically always hop over top. Or up, as the case may be. And I assume there's a secret way into some of those little bits, right? You see the... Oh, I missed it now. Um, but you saw like the little, all the crates inside that thing. I'm, I'm assuming there are ways to it. Oh man, I guess I should be looking for... Oh, hello, heart. One up, I'll take that. Oh God, I just wanted to... Please give me a fairy, okay. Just get me through there, I'm good. Okay, and I got a little float now. Not sure what the orb does, maybe it's just points. Getting out of there. See what this boss is all about. I'm gonna need a moment after that. Yo, Agent APM. Yes, it is a blight. Yo, APM, you know this game? Yo, that's dope. I, I had like I just stumbled across this when I was scrolling through itch.io at one point. That's super sick. I'm glad someone else knows this game. It's super fun. It's adorable. I freaking love these micro mages, I gotta be honest. Oh yeah, you watched the devlog passionately. Nice, that's super cool. I mean, it's relatively recent, like 2019, right? So I don't know how long they worked on it for. Yeah, what does this boss do? Immediate death. And I guess, yeah, orb is just points. 
And I have found a fairy. Oh, I can't drop down. That sucks. Um, ever hopeful. Ever hopeful for a fairy. Yeah, I love the modern retro game. It's always so cool. So I just looked away for a second. There's the fairy, thank you. Okay, pay attention this time, Mike. Okay, I'm really not paying attention. Oh, I can only imagine, right? They had to have used some like some absolute trickery to to fit all this stuff into the game. So I can yeah, I can imagine that there's some stuff that's like, yeah, uh, how how did you how did you cheat the system? I'm assuming whatever they did is the reason they don't have screen wrap. Like these open-ended things on the uh, in the stages are like absolutely screaming to just be able to screen wrap around them. Okay, let's see if I can remember this. It's that. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything like... I mean, uh, let me know, take a look. Like, I think I've got the uh, whole idea, like the movement down. I really like the feather. Like the more I use it, the more I'm like, okay, I see why this is really good. Not only as just extra health, but um, yeah, like absolutely. Give me, <laughs> I'm, I'm open to tips and tricks. But no, I really like actually how they pace the stage scrolling and uh, how it like accelerates uh, along with you basically. Like, I, ha, I really love that. Great, great game feel. Great game feel. Why are you the game scrolls in just one direction, early cartridges? Oh yeah, no, I'm not talking about horizontal scrolling. I'm talking like when your character hits the edge of the screen, like I would come out on the left-hand side if I moved to the right here. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking, right? Uh, with, with just those... Um, I was just playing a shoot 'em up game that actually did that. Uh, that's what made me think of it, and it feels like it's it's just screaming out. To... Oh. oh, damn, ghosts! Yeah, it's screaming out to be able to do that, right? To to just have your character pop down. Okay, please keep the feather and the fairy. This is a good setup. I thought they were gonna make me use the the pipes in order to um, like bounce up and shoot them, but I totally forgot that I could just shoot straight up. That's dope. Yo, Taco, how you doing, man? You gotta let me know what that free play location is like for um, the New Toronto Weeklies. 